Hi folks, right, um, Byzantine Siloy archers, um, I think you've seen these before when I laid out the Byzantine army, and I thought, yep, I based these all up time to get these finished. Um, these are actually the old Essex figures, but they're not quite nice, they actually came from Germany. <laughs> I bought these on eBay two years ago now, I think it was, maybe three, uh, from a gentleman in Germany. So, uh, from Canby Island to Germany and back to Yorkshire. So, um, yeah, that's the command group. I put a little little standard on there. You can probably see it, and the heads have been changed. Not too happy with the command head. It's a bit enormous. Uh, I think that's from a cavalryman, yes. But it'll have to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that noticeable. Um, and the head at the back here, that's a different head that's been changed on that one. You see that, and then that's a different head there. I've given him a mace as the command figure. And then the standard bearer, I think that's from a, one of the spearmen already out. Spearmen, I think it is. Anyway, right. So I base them like uh, two doubles and then two single figures, you know, because we, we normally use them firing like that. So 24 there, an archer unit at uh, short range and would be uh, rank and a half or half effect, sorry, half effect, so be 12 firing at long range. So this would be normal deployment. Right, I'll get on with these and then come back to you when there are uh, some more progress. Okay, that's the um, sand and glue <clears throat> put on, just basic PVA and dipped in the sand pot. I've not gone too heavy on the basing on these because it's quite a a shallow base on the actual bottom of the boot so uh, no need to build it up too high by the time we get the flock and tubs on it'll it'll look high enough so anyway that's uh, that's all the sand and glue I've left these double based and again there and then we've got two single bases um, so I'm ready to uh, now I can put the dark brown on Right, we're all uh, we're all browned up, so I'm now going to do my usual three-stage dry brush, which is a dark orange, a peachy colour, and an off-white. So I'm going to get all three of those done, and then we'll be ready for the uh, the flocking stage. That's the dry brushing stage done. I've done the standard three dry brushes: dark orange, uh, peach colour, and off-white. So they're all done and it's now ready for the flock and tufts. So I'll get that uh, get that sorted so you, we uh, can see the uh, finished product. And there we go, all based up, ready for play. Um, yeah, I'm well pleased with these. I say I bought them in second hand. Figures were already painted, but uh, they've turned out to uh, the basing up I think they turned out really nice well that's my opinion <laughs> and that's the command group just a usual religious icon uh, yeah. and a couple of single bases I think what I'll do now is I'll just sort out uh, what uh, Byzantines have actually got finished and just uh, show you those. I think last time there was a, quite a lot that weren't finished and completed so I think it's time for a for a look-see. So I'll uh, just get that organized. So there she is. That's the Byzantine army as it stands. Um, as you can see, let me just get my little pointy stick. I've just added in this is the unit I've just based up, and the other day I based up the Polk and Schmerdy. This is the Silo Archers. Um, so it's coming on a long way to go, long way to go. Um, lots of units needed, more infantry uh, units, uh, Skitatoi, uh, thematic troops. I've uh, got the two units of super heavy cavalry at the back. That's those armoured cavalry at the back there, pointy, he says. Um, say two units of thematic infantry. Uh, C&C there. What have we got? Uh, 
uh, that's the Varangian Guard there, one unit of light infantry, Russian infantry and silo archers. And then we've got um, what have we got five ballistas. Um, uh, we've got two, three of the Onager types, that's the uh, the, the more heavy um, bolt shooters, and then we've got a couple of stone throwers. Finished crew needed. Um, three, four, eight, about another ten crew, yeah, about ten crew needed. Um, but it's getting there. Um, I've got some cavalry to uh, to get sorted and based up. I've just noticed those couple more units that were in the box. So I think I'm going to get on with those. But uh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll just move the camera and we'll take a closer look. Yeah, so we got, uh, there you can see the artillery there, I am hope they're showing all right. Uh, side eye archers, there's the Russian infantry. Uh, we've got the Russian sub-general there. More artillery. Unit of Byzantine light infantry with javelins. The, uh, the dreaded Varang, oh. There's a command figure there. I don't know what he's doing on his own. I think I was going to put him with, perhaps with a unit. Not too sure, but anyway, he's just a figure that's been based up. <laughs> uh, we've got Varangian guards there. Uh, then over the back, can't see because of all the banners. We've got the thematic troops there. Uh, another unit of thematic infantry there. Uh, sub general there and two units of the super heavy cavalry cataphracti uh, the overall cnc base uh, and yeah more. there we go the stone throwers the onagers and the ballistas and as you can see looking at this a very religious army um because we're what uh, 11th century now aren't we this nicophorian byzantine so religion um uh, is a is a plays a big part and they like to show it. So lots of banners with crosses and pictures of saints, uh, pictures of Jesus and Mary and uh, uh, the whole uh, the whole shebang. I like this uh, this Russian one I found. Um, apparently appropriate for the time. I do like that one uh, with Russian writing on it. Whether it's correct. This is um, what a, um, orthodox, isn't it? The orthodox. Uh, Nick at Medieval Warrior might know about this sort of thing better than I do. But yeah, that's what she looks like so far. So, uh, that's what I say. This is one of these, I hadn't planned on it, but you just get involved and uh, I say I based up the, the Russian infantry there, based those up over the weekend. Uh, then I did the archers and thought, right, and I'll just get a few more bits and pieces completed, which I have done. Um, yeah so there we go i'll put a few stills on i think probably the end although you may have seen some of these before but uh, it's a newer camera so it might look better but there we go thanks for looking thanks for listening to my rambling and that's the uh, progress on the byzantine army nicophorian byzantine so thanks a lot and uh, bye for now